We're at the Pillars, the home of John Houston Beals, born in 1800, died in 1871. He was born in North Carolina, settled in Bolivar, or what was known as Hatchytown at the time. And we're at the pillars here and on the one of the sides of the house, we're walking back what is now the main entrance to the house here in Bolivar, Tennessee. My name is Evelina McNeil Bills Polk. My mother, she was a McNeil, and my father, he owned this house. His name was John Houston Bills. He helped uh, found Hardeman County here, the great county you're in right now. We're in the seat, we're in Bolivar right now. Uh, and then I met, went on to marry Marshall Tate Polk of the Polk family, if you're familiar mm -hmm. with the president, Mr. James K. Polk, he's a nice man. He's Marshall's uncle. So anyway, come along. Daddy built me this cottage uh, in 1861, and uh, we had some Union soldiers in the house. Uh, they were using it as a hospital and for storage, and some men would stay overnight. So Daddy thought it would be better for me and my children to be out here in a, a cottage. Uh, the crying wouldn't wake anyone, and, and we'd be separate from those uh, Union soldiers. You know, we were on the other side of things during the war. Uh, we were plantation owners by trade and we had a uh, cotton, mm -hmm. of course. Cotton was king back in the day around here. And so at the time I had two children and we lived here for a while during the war when Marshall was out uh, doing his, uh, his deed and serving for our Confederate uh, states. Uh, come along. Uh, so my daddy, he bought this house in 18, and I think it was 37. Uh, it was built from the years of 1826 to 28, and he was a financier for Mr. James K. Polk, and that's kind of how me and Marshall met, and mm -hmm. we hit it off and uh, got married right here on the grounds here at the Pillars uh, in 57. We had 10 children total, but whenever mm -hmm. we lived here, we just had two. I don't think I could <laughs> manage with 10 children in here, but uh, you do what you'd have to during the war, you know? Uh, well, also, uh, when you get a chance, you could go visit uh, mine and Marshall's graves. We're over uh, at the Pope Cemetery. Mm -hmm. You'll see uh, see us there. So, uh, give us a wave and a nod, and know what you're thinking about us. And now we're on the front porch of the Pillars here in Bolivar, Tennessee. As you can see, they're doing some construction here and rebuilding some of this porch. We learned today that the columns are upside down when they were placed here. Obviously, they should be flipped. May have been, but I don't know if his, what his mother was. Um.
with his attitude. So in the wintertime, he could get it, put it on, and it still be warm. And <laughs> keep his head warm, you know, when he went outside. So uh, he did that, and he kept his best books in there, so most of it would not get to him. You know, just to, to, heat, to heat off, yeah, to heat off the, uh, the fireplace and keep them all dried out. That would have been in front of the house. If you look outside, there's two cedar trees right here close. Yeah. On back by that concrete bench, there's two more cedar trees. That was lying in the front drive all the way to Union Street. There two blocks that way. And that would have been the front drive in. And so when they started building this road, it was going to go right where she's standing. That was going to be the front door. And he built, he built this little section going over here, added the upstairs. Mm -hmm. When she died, he was left with the wrong little children. His mother-in-law said, you need to do something. Let's get this thing done. You know, she was having a deal with all this stuff. Electric washing machine, like what we do, they would uh, boil their clothes um, in a hot water, of course, over a fire, and then they would, um, this would have water, and they would move their clothes over here after they boiled them, um, and put them down in here and lay them flat, and then move this back and forth to scrub them. Um, and then they would, of course, have to hang them up because you know, they didn't have a dryer. Mm -hmm. um, and in here is the, um, you can come in if you'd like. Original kitchen. Um, they could not have the kitchen attached to the house for fear of the whole house burning mm -hmm. down and the house fire starting. And they would um, cook all their food over here on an open fire. Um, and then um, after preparing everything over here, then they would um, then um, wrap everything up and take it over to the butler's room. And then from the butler's room, there would they would serve the family there. Mm -hmm. 
um, dinner. And above us is the spinning room. It was dedicated to just spinning, um, you know, their own clothes uh, mm -hmm. out of wool or cotton or whatever else um, they had. Um, and then you probably saw the dairy room. And then above mm -hmm. the dairy's room was the cook's room where the cook stayed um, because it was inappropriate for the cook to stay in the house. And then that way she would be so close, close to the cook, uh, kitchen because you know, cooking was all day. It, you'd, mm -hmm. She'd wake up at the crack of dawn and, um, or he and um, cook breakfast and then clean up and then cook lunch and then clean up and then cook dinner. It was all day long. Um, so yeah, that's here. But it's supposed to separate and make butter. Not so far. Uh-oh, no luck yet. We are at the Pillars in Bolivar, Tennessee today. We get ready to wrap up this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you would. Colton's been here with me today, and we've uh, taken a tour. Been a fun time. Again, for more information, visit johnblankenship.net. Thanks for watching.